Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to Star Made. In this episode we'll be checking out some of the new blocks that have been introduced in the latest update and link you through to some of the cool other tutorials we'll be putting out with how you can actually utilize them in your different builds. But without further ado, let's have a basic introduction to the new blocks that have been introduced. So we've got our nice little introduction platform here because who doesn't like a grand introduction? So we got two blocks here and we'll be starting with the randomizer block. So you can see here, labeled here, randomizer block. So this is the randomizer block. You can see it kind of looks like the shuffle logo off your, uh, your iPhone, your iPod, whatever you want to be using or your other media player that you find. Uh, but essentially this little block uh, opens up a world of possibilities because up until now if you wanted to get a random signal you had to basically do pseudo random so essentially build some circuits which uh, use a lot of conditions uh, and gates and all gates in order to be able to uh, fake the look of randomness but with this little block you can do just that it works as simple as inputting a uh, activation module or a button into the randomizer block here and then every time it has a new state change so for the button the button going on as well as the button going off and for an activation module utilizing the uh, both it toggling on and toggling off this has a 50 percent chance to change its state so it'll either go uh, on or it'll go off or it will stay the same um, so you really can't predict how it'll be. Uh, if you check out a couple of these videos here, you can see sort of as it random stuff that you can create with it. <laughs> random. Um, or you can also look at the different ways that you can either uh, increase the odds uh, by either adding in other randomizer blocks and then using all gates. Or you can have a look at how we can decrease the odds by adding in AND gates and more randomizers as well. But check out that video, it'll give you a lot more detail as to how we can use the randomizer block. So that's the randomizer block there. Now let's turn our attention to the sensor block. Now the sensor block is really, really cool. I'm really excited for the possibilities that it opens up. The sensor block opens up a world of possibilities with regards to detecting things about systems. So it can detect things like power, shields, um, cloak, jammers, jump drives, basically giving you the ability to detect certain values using logic and triggering logic through that. It may sound a little convoluted or a little confusing, and setting it up does take a little bit of effort, but if you check out the videos that start here, you can actually see a whole series on using the sensor block in different ways to be able to detect things with all these different systems and how you can work them into your different builds as well. So that is the sensor block. It's really cool. I'm really excited to explore the different ways that we can utilize it. But those are the two new blocks that we have for you today. They're really cool. Um, as well as we'll be putting out a lot more videos to do with actual rails and different things that we can utilize with rails, with logic, all kinds of different things. It's a really exciting time for people who build with logic here. So those are those two blocks there. Until next time, my name is Bench. Thanks for watching.